Tonight, the governor's office not happy about a standoff between Cleveland schools and their teachers union. The union is urging teachers to stay out of the classroom, at least for now. And today I spoke with the lieutenant governor who accused them of going against their word. Lieutenant Governor John Houston sounding off on social media, speaking directly to local teachers. Cleveland school personnel jumped to the front of the line to get vaccines in return for going back to school in person March 1. Now the union is violating that agreement. If you weren't going to go back to work, then you shouldn't have taken the vaccine. I can tell you that 99% of the school districts will be back for in-person education on Monday. On Saturday, he spoke with three news about Cleveland not being among them. And now to not honor that end of the deal, the teachers union in Cleveland uh, is basically going back on their word. And so we're going to spend the next couple days interacting, uh, trying to create an environment where they understand uh, that this is a necessity, that this is important. Earlier this year, his office prioritized teachers to get the vaccine, putting them ahead of older Ohioans in exchange for having them back in their classrooms by March 1st. Cleveland missed that deadline, announcing instead they'd return in phases, starting the week of March 8th with a small group of special needs students. Then, days ago, their union voted to push that back even more. I have never said uh, to my membership or to anyone else that the vaccine is the number one thing that gets us back into the classroom. It's a piece of the puzzle. Their president saying they need clarification on ventilation, along with a more detailed transition schedule and a checklist for each building showing safety measures. And now we need to get those things fixed and then we can get our adults and get our kids back in the building. Though the district claims schools are safer, cleaner, that they've upgraded technology, installed air purifiers, even quarantine centers, they're now working this weekend with the union, whose leadership believes should have been given a better plan. You either have it in place or you don't. As the vast majority of teachers in the state prepare to return to their classrooms or returned already. Earlier this year, Governor DeWine criticized both Cleveland and Akron Public Schools for not returning to in-person learning soon enough. Akron will resume on Monday. And there are a number of new specifications to be sharing with you tonight. Students in kindergarten through second grade and those with significant disabilities will return on Monday. The remainder of students will return on March 15th. All students and teachers will still be required to adhere, of course, to pandemic safety measures.